Good evening, it is September 1916. This is the Pathy News to the cinema. Justin, Sir Ernest Shackleton and all his men have been rescued from the Antarctic. Let's take a look at this extraordinary adventure. This year is 1914. Sir Ernest Shackleton sailed from England on his third Antarctic expedition. Since Ralph Edmondson had reached the South Pole in 1911, Shackleton wanted to be the first to walk across the Antarctic continent. It has been a difficult adventure since there were no radios, no aeroplanes to deliver food and supplies, no high-tech clothing to keep out the cold they would experience. The worst weather and roughest seas on earth completely cut off from the rest of civilization in one of the most extreme places on earth. Leaving Plymouth, England in 1914, Shackleton and his crew of 28 men of various nationalities set sail. As their ship, the Endurance, powered by steam and sail, sailed towards the Antarctic, the sea began to freeze. The wooden ship continued to sail south, weaving and dodging icebergs and looking for open patches of indigo blue sea. Giant blocks of ice slowly surrounded the ship and she could no longer move any further. All attempts to try and free her failed. After many failed attempts to free the ship, Shackleton decided it was best to wait until the ice thawed. The crew entertain themselves on board by playing music, singing and playing cards. The winter was cold and dark. The sun did not rise for 79 days. The men grew tired and bored. The ship creaked and groaned as the ice began to crush it. It's only a matter of time before the ship is crushed, said Shackleton. After nine months trapped, the ship was crushed by the powerful force of the ice and sank. Fortunately, the crew had unloaded all the food and equipment they would need. Also, the three lifeboats which they would need when the ice thawed. Shackleton and his men decided to set up camp on the ice. After days camped on the ice, they decided to march across the pack ice, dragging their boats with them. It proved to be very difficult. They fell many times, but continued to try and reach land. As they continue their march, again struggling and falling, the ice starts to break up. The ice pack breaks up before revealing the blue sea. They are stranded on a massive floating ice pack. 
After five and a half months on the ice, the men smelled terrible. They hadn't been able to wash or bath. Now they had to decide what to do next. Shackleton and his men take to the three lifeboats. They sail for the nearest island, which is Elephant Island. The savage sea slammed furiously into the three little boats. Tall waves lifted them up and down like a roller coaster. The men were seasick and thirsty. They had to reach land. They had to get to Elephant Island. Finally, the men reached Elephant Island on the 15th of April 1916. After an exhausting week battling the sea, the island was bleak and barren, just massive rocks rising from the sea, but it was the only choice the men had. The men set up camp using their lifeboats covered with sheets as shelters. They tried to entertain themselves with music. The men grew sad. After all they had been through to be stranded on this island where no one would find them, Shackleton had to make another decision. Shackleton decided to take a small party of men and sail to a whaling station on South Georgia, 800 miles away, to get help. They made their way from storm-tossed seas until finally they reached their destination. On reaching South Georgia, they were faced with having to climb a huge mountain to get to the whaling station. A journey that had never been made before, but with great hardship and determination, they finally reached the station. The crew received a hero's welcome at the station. The whalers knew that no one had ever done what Shackleton had achieved, but it would take three months and four attempts to break through the winter, pack ice and save the stranded men. They eventually sailed in a Chilean naval ship to rescue the stranded men who had survived the three months looking to the sea wondering if Shackleton would return to rescue them. Shackleton had finally done it without any loss of life. They were finally going home. It is one of the greatest stories of survival and rescue ever recorded. That wraps up our Pathy News special. Over and out. Good night.